Welcome to the follow-up for the Collision Lab for Inelastic Collisions. Now that we have our data from the Collision Lab simulation for our after the collision mass and velocity, now we're going to um, discover the law of conservation of momentum. So let's start with our before the collision. We are going to calculate the total momentum before the collision. So let me get my pen. So we're going to calculate the total momentum, which we've done before. So in order to calculate total momentum, we have to find our two individual momenta and then add them together. So let's start with our first object, the red ball. Had a mass of 0.5 kilograms and a velocity of 1 meter per second. So remember that momentum is equal to mass times velocity. So that's going to be 0.5 times 1, which gives us 0.5 kilogram meters per second. Now in our second um, object, it was stationary. Objects that are stationary have no momentum. So the momentum here is just 0 kilogram meters per second. Now we're going to add those two momenta together. So here we multiply, 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 and then we're going to add. So I have 0.5 plus 0 equals 0.5 kilogram meters per second. So before the collision, my total momentum was 0.5 kilogram meters per second for the system of the red and the green ball together. Now after the collision, we just had one gigantic mass traveling at one velocity, 0.25 meters per second. So there's only one momentum to calculate. We have 2 times 0.25, and we get 0.5 kilogram meters per second. Now there's something that we need to notice here, and it's very important, that the momentum before the collision is equal to, I'm sorry, the total momentum before the collision is equal to the total momentum after the collision. The momentum that we started with is equal to the momentum that we ended with. All of the momentum was conserved. Let's look at another equation, or another question. So let's scroll down here. Okay, let's look at question two, or scenario two. We have the red ball moving at four, uh, sorry, four kilograms moving to the right at five meters per second and one kilogram green ball moving to the right at three meters per second. So again, we're going to calculate the momentum of each individual object first. So we have four times five, that's 20 kilogram meters per second. We multiplied. Okay. And then we have one times three, that's three kilogram meters per second. And we add that together and we get 23 kilogram meters per second. So we added those two. So multiply, multiply, add. We get 23 kilogram meters per second. Now for our after the collision, we're going to calculate the momentum after the collision. So we have five times 4.6, which gives us 23 kilogram meters per second. 23 kilogram meters per second, which amazingly is the same as what I had before. The total before was the collision is equal to the total after the collision. Let's try another one and see if we are consistent. Oops. There we go. So our third one. We had a one kilogram red ball moving to the right at a speed of three meters per second and a two kilogram ball moving at a speed of two meters per second. So we're going to, again, find the individual momentum before they collide. So we had one times three, that's three kilogram meters per second. 
And then for the second object, we had 2 times negative 2. Remember the negative because of the left. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 kilogram meters per second. And then I add them together. So I have 3 plus negative 4, which is negative 1 kilogram meters per second. After the collision, we have 3 times negative 0.33 meters per second, which technically gives us 0.999 repeating, which is as close as we're going to get to 1 kilogram meter per second. Sorry, uh, negative negative 0.9. So again, our total momentum before the collision is equal to our total momentum after the collision. So we have discovered, essentially, the law of conservation of momentum. The law of conservation of momentum states that the total momentum of a system never changes. The total before a collision is equal to the total momentum after a collision. Again, the law of conservation of momentum states that the total momentum before a collision is equal to the total momentum after the collision. The total momentum of the system doesn't change. Individual objects within the system can transfer momentum from one to another but the overall momentum doesn't change. Think about it this way. Imagine that you have $5 in your pocket and your friend has no dollars in their pocket. You give your friend $3. So now you have $2 and your friend has $3. There's still $5 accounted for. None of the money was lost. So you started out with $5 in your pocket and now there's $5 between the two pockets but none of the money's gone. It just changed from one object or person to another, but it doesn't disappear. The money, and in this case, the momentum, is always conserved. Nothing disappears. So in the next video, you are going to use the law of conservation of momentum to determine the velocity of an object after the collision. So stay tuned for that. Thanks.